having the GPS on this craft actually allows us to do some quite clever things with the flight control system. Besides the GPS mode, which is what brought it back when I put it into failsafe mode, it also has two additional flying modes which I struggled to remember the names for and I haven't brought the paperwork. But basically one of them allows you to record a position which by default is going to be this takeoff position and it will fly in a grid pattern left, right, forwards, backwards from there irrespective of which direction the craft is pointing in. So this means that when you're doing aerial photography you can have the camera pointing at your subject matter but you can still fly around in a straightforward way without actually losing your orientation. It probably makes life a lot easier. So as I'm a rookie pilot I'm not quite ready to put my camera underneath this yet because it would be in the line of fire. So now I'm going to switch it into that mode and we now see a different flashing pattern, a yellow followed by two greens and that's actually telling us that it's going to fly forward, backwards, left, right. So I've lined it up on a different grass tuft this time just to give us a little bit more clearance uh, but also now this line in the concrete in front of me is a reference point to say this is forwards and backwards so you'll be able to see just how good it is at going forwards and backwards. Try not to trip over something behind me. So again we start the motors, throttle up and off we go. Not going to go too high now. There. So I'll do a forwards, backwards, forwards again. And now, with the controls absolutely level, I'm going to go left and right. And then we'll come back again to roughly where we started. Now, just to demonstrate that it still knows forward, left, forward, backwards, left, and right, I'm going to rotate it just slowly there so you can see it's turned around I've got a clue which way it's facing now really but still forwards is that way backwards is that way left is that way and right is that way so let's bring it down a bit and then I'm going to flick it into another mode. It's very tempting to look at the controls all the time to see where we are with them, but I think it's a question of getting used to the touch of the device and actually feeling comfortable with it. So you can see the craft was dropping for a little bit then and stopped, so presumably I hadn't cut the throttle enough. I'm dropping the throttle a little bit more. And down she comes quite quickly now. A little bit of a wobble coming down there, so maybe some settings need adjusting. Level off there. So I'm going to rock this switch now. We're saying that's my home position. Now I'm putting it into another mode. Now when I fly when I fly forward from there, or rather fly away from there in a forward direction, it's now changed to what its idea of forward and backwards is. So that's forwards. And that's backwards. Forwards. Now left and right suddenly become something different. We've got forwards and backwards, and that's forwards and backwards from that point I just recorded. If I go left and right now, you're going to see what's going kind of happening. So I'm turning, as just as I would to do some aerial photography, but now we're going to go left and right, and you're going to see what happens. So at the moment we're going off to left, which is port, 
And what you can see, I hope I'm not going to crash into that tree, because we are quite low. I didn't want to be too high because you wouldn't see it so well otherwise. But you can see that the aircraft is now basically doing a circle around that point that I marked. That's a really nifty feature if you want to go and film an object from all sides, just go and fly around it. I'm not entirely confident I'm going to clear that tree to the left, so I'll just stop at that point and then maybe gain a little bit of altitude and come back again. Round and round and round and round. And beeping you can hear is the flight limit timer. So when it counts down to zero, it's time to bring the craft back. Still going in the same direction, it should still be doing its circle around the point I marked. Here it comes. I can keep on going until it's right behind me, right behind where it took off, just to demonstrate the point. There, level off there. Now we're quite high, but I'm going to come back towards the point which we took off from. So this is now saying going backwards. It's coming back to the point I marked, rather not the point I took off from, even though they're close together. Okay, time to bring her down. I'm going to do a manual landing this time. Still a bit of wobble there. Now level off to show we're still in control. We don't want to smack it into the ground. Alright, I maybe should have held the throttle as high as it was because it was still coming down, but I dropped it a little prematurely. So that was a slightly bigger bump than I thought, and also slightly further away than I thought, so I should have brought it a little bit closer towards me perhaps. But all is well, and the craft still has 1 minute and 9 seconds of flight time, so I have to figure out what I'm going to do next.